Today we are talking all about electrolytes. So we're going to cover the best kind of electrolyte supplement replacements available easily in Australia. Um, so electrolytes are really important when you're, particularly when you're transitioning, I think from a standard diet to more of a low carb keto diet, because you, your body will stop retaining all that fluid that it was when you are eating carbs. Um, and along with losing all that fluid, you tend to lose a lot of your electrolytes. And that's why sometimes when people are transitioning over to keto, they get what's called the keto flu, which is where you might have like fatigue, headaches, nausea, that type of thing. So it's really important to stay on top of your electrolytes, particularly when you're transitioning. And then some people find that they need to supplement with electrolytes all the time. So we've got a range of different ones here to go over, but the first mm -hmm. thing we wanted to talk about is what your kind of daily recommended intake is. And I'm sure you could go down a massive rabbit hole with that, but what mm -hmm. we've done is just gone to our trusted um, place for that type of information for us is Diet Doctor. So we went to Diet Doctor and his recommendations, now we have notes, so <laughs> bear with us because there's a lot of information in this video. So. Mm -hmm. He has said sodium, he recommends between three to seven grams per day. Potassium, three to four and a half. And magnesium, 400 milligrams. So the potassium and the sodium are grams and the magnesium is milligrams. Yeah, so obviously a lot of the sodium and potassium and some of the magnesium will be in your diet so if you salt your foods and just from um inside all of your food that you're eating yeah exactly so but you also tend to need to supplement to meet those now i think it's pretty individual and it really depends on you because even dan and i can have different needs around electrolytes and i think it also depends on how low your carbs are so when we went really low carb like zero Carnival, carb yeah. we found that we need to up our supplement uh, our electrolyte supplements and perhaps if you're more on the low carb spectrum you might be okay just with some salt or something and not with a specific supplement so we have five different um electrolyte supplements that are the best kind of keto friendly ones we found available in australia that we're going to go through and we're going to cover the price where we buy them, how much sodium, potassium and magnesium they have, the flavours they come in. What they're sweetened with as yes. well. So most of these, all but one, have have sweetener in them. So yeah. Um, okay, let's start with the most popular one. I think I'll see a lot of people having this one and it's the one that we kind of started having with, which is the Ultima. I think it's Ultima Replenisher. Is yeah, that what I think it's called? so. Yeah. So you can get it um, pretty easily at a few places. We've bought it from Low Carb Emporium before. It comes in a few different tub sizes as well as like individual stick sachets, which we like to have if we're traveling because they're very handy just to tip into like a water bottle or something. Um, I found the best price is normally on iHerb. Um, you can get the 90 serve tub for about $62, depending on the exchange rate on iHerb. At Low Carb Emporium, it's about $66. So it comes down to about $0.68 cents to $0.73 cents per serve. Depending on where you buy them. Yes. So the flavours, they have raspberry, which is by far our favourite. We only ever order the raspberry yeah. Ultima. Um, but they also have orange, lemonade, grape, cherry and pomegranate, mm -hmm. um, pink lemonade, blue raspberry. So there's heaps of different flavors. They're all sweetened with stevia. So um, a good low carb sweetener. Yeah, so as far as what electrolytes are in it, so it has 133 milligrams of sodium chloride. So not really a lot of sodium chloride compared to what your daily requirement is and some of the other options. Potassium 250 milligrams and then magnesium 100 milligrams, which seems to be about standard for magnesium. It is quite sweet. It's sweetened with stevia. So we tend to have it in a, a like a dilute big, it yeah. a lot into like a big water bottle or something, because if you have it just in a small glass, it would be very, very sweet. 
yeah we definitely put a lot of water into it because it's a, the sweetest one we, we have yeah okay so the next one is the trace minerals electrolyte powder from iherb i actually went on there to buy the sierra fit um electrolyte and it sold out so i don't know whether they're um not stocking it anymore but this was the option that i found so the flat they only had one flavor it's lemon lime it's sweetened with stevia um, it was 46.75 for 55 serves so 85 cents per serve um, so the sodium's 25 milligrams which seems like not a lot but then the potassium's a thousand milligrams so that's quite high compared to the Ultima one and the magnesium is 120 milligrams so we haven't tried this one before this is the only I need to flavor. get a spoon because <laughs> oh it doesn't look easy to mix in which is kind of annoying if you just wanted to plop it into your water bottle or something which annoys me a lot yeah. if I can't mix it straight into cold water it's very lumpy <laughs> but we'll go with it okay we trying it <laughs> lemon lime <coughs> Oh, you're getting all the lumps in your mouth. It's fine, but it I wouldn't choose it. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but yeah, you're right. I wouldn't choose it, but it's fine. Yeah, so it's been it's really interesting doing this, seeing the variance in the the levels of yes, the actual it, there's not a standard one so yeah. i guess in some ways maybe you need to see what works for you exactly so the other one which we haven't tried before is this new one from low carb emporium which is called revitalize so it is 33.95 that's the small one which is 30 serves so it was a dollar 13 per serve which most is most expensive so far most expensive so far comes in a wide range of flavors so there was lemon and lime sour apple which is the one we have uh, grape and raspberry raspberry it's sweetened with stevia and it has oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Well, no, neither was I. So it's 150 milligrams of sodium, 250 milligrams of potassium, and 120 of magnesium. So this one is pretty similar um, in the ratios to the Ultima. Wow, look at the color of that. It actually it's mixed in better than the other one. There's still small kind of lumpy bits, but... I guess if you had it in a bottle and shook it, that might be a better option. But both of these said to um, have them in about 500 mils of water. And so this that's is not even bigger mils. than that glass. And it smells like smell it that. It smells. Oh, I can smell. Yeah, it's these. like a lolly. Those sour lollies. I mean, I definitely choose that over that. It's very sweet. You would want way more water than that. It's really sweet. It's oh, like it's a nice flavor though. The flavor is nice. You mm. definitely want a lot more water yeah. than that. Um, but yeah, I don't mind that. Mm, I would choose that one. Yes. Over. Yeah, definitely. and the Revitalize had heaps of other flavor options. Now the next one on our list is Bulk Nutrients, their electrolyte blend. They, they have, have a, yeah. They have two different options. We went with the electrolyte blend because it is unsweetened and unflavored having an unsweetened option is awesome because there's some times you don't want to have the sweet because we have ours in the morning and you're kind of going straight for sweet first thing in the morning so mm. the bulk nutrients unsweetened we like it um and it's got no flavor so it, it has like flavor. a bit of a chalkiness to it it has a slight flavor that's not you know it's you wouldn't choose it but it's it's palatable like yeah. you can drink it it's not like you're gagging or anything yeah when we do the clean and simple reset we use that and yeah. it is um fine you just mix it up and you could put it. a squeeze of lemon juice or something if you wanted to try and cover it but the reason that these are made flavored and sweet is because it they're Makes covering it. up the flavor of all the salts and things in it 
But the bulk nutrients electrolyte blend, $25 for 76 serves is 33 by cents a serve. So by far the cheapest. It's an Australian company, actually comes from Tasmania. Um, so no, again, not flavored, no sweeteners. The sodium is 152 milligrams. Potassium was 120 milligrams and magnesium 180 milligrams. I will also say they ship the quickest I've ever seen. Especially from Tassie. Yep. We get it next day or the day after from placing an order. It's great to support the um this company for sure i will say none of these prices are including shipping, shipping either this is just the price so there is a shipping charge on top of that okay our last option are these elemental labs so it's they're L rob wolfs aren't they yeah so yep. l m n t it's meant to be element um they yeah rob wolf if anyone knows him from the paleosphere um, this is his brand of electrolytes. So they are, they do come from the US or you can buy them at Tarn's Cakes in Riverstone in Sydney. You might have seen we did a video there a month or so ago now. Um, if you buy them from directly from Element, it's 20 USD plus shipping for 12 serves. So it comes out at 167 USD per serve so over two bucks if you buy them from tarns it's 28 australian dollars for 12 serves so two dollars 33 per serve so they are by far the most expensive option that we have today but they have the most unique flavors of any electrolyte so go through the flavors because okay. they are unbelievable watermelon salt citrus salt orange salt raspberry they do have a raw unflavored which we haven't tried mango chili lemon habanero and chocolate and we have tried the chocolate yeah, the, we lemon, tried a few. the habanero the mango chili because we got them in some sample pack or something yes. um and the ben, chocolate is surprisingly like, alright. I, I like I, the flavours of them. Yeah, we were not looking forward to trying the chocolate one. We left it right till the last... Mm. Like we used them while we were travelling because it's handy to have them in these packs. Mm -hmm. And we weren't looking forward to the chocolate one. And it actually tasted a bit like chocolate milk, to be honest. Yeah, even though you mixed it with water. Yeah. Very strange. Very strange. Um, they are sweetened with stevia and they by far have the most sodium so a thousand milligrams or a whole gram of sodium they have 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium so these ones these ones they're the most expensive but they definitely i like the flavor of these they're pretty they're just different yeah. from other things. And if you needed like a change up, you could really, um, in the variety packs and stuff, you're getting a range of different flavors. Whereas yeah. when you're they buying this, yeah. you are got that lemon lime flavor for, <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to be having that for a while. <clears throat> they also don't do tubs. They only do, right. which I guess, you know, with the packaging, not ideal. So as you can see, there's a real variance in the actual electrolytes in inside yeah there. there's not really any consistency there and i guess a obviously consult with a medical professional about your needs particularly if you're on any sort of other medication um but yeah there could be a bit of trial and error in finding what works best for you yeah pick one and if it doesn't seem to be helping you um with your kind of keto flu symptoms or um you don't just don't feel right with it you need to probably change it up and find the one that works for you if you've enjoyed this video guys please give us a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching bye, bye.